Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial I am going to show you how you can make a responsive footer design in HTML using CSS. So first of all here you can see this is a simple HTML structure and inside this body tag we are going to have a section and we will see over here inside the section we will name a class over here and the class name will be footer and inside this footer first of all uh, we will have some social link and for social link we are going to use font awesome so here let me just write a div over here and inside this div here i'll say over here class and class will be uh, let's say social over here we'll have some social links so here we'll mention anchor tag and inside this anchor tag we'll have have a icon for the social so for icon we are going to use font awesome so for using icon first of all we need to add the font or some cdn link inside our head so for it let's go to a browser and here we are going to search for font awesome cdn link and here uh, if you search for font awesome cdn link you will see this website cdnjs.com just go there and over here uh, the first one you can see we'll just click in the middle one over here you can see if you click it it will get copied and we'll paste it inside our head section so right now again we'll go to our browser and right now we'll search only font awesome and here you can see fontawesome.com we'll go to fontawesome.com and then at the top you will see the icon option just go to the icon option just click icon and let's first uh, search for instagram icon just search for instagram and here you can see the instagram icon i'll just choose this one and here you can see a code i class pavans pa instagram if i just click on it here you can see it got copied so we'll go back to our code and inside the anchor tag we'll paste that code if we now save it and if we now refresh our browser here you can see the instagram icon let me just zoom in here you can see the instagram icon so right now let's go and add a few more icon uh, like facebook twitter and youtube so let's search over here uh, we we'll search over here facebook <coughs> let's choose this one let's copy it and we'll paste it in our browser so before we paste it uh, we'll mention the anchor tag and inside the anchor tag we'll paste the icon so after facebook we'll copy the twitter icon so here we'll say twitter let's choose this one let's copy then again we are going to mention the anchor tag and inside anchor tag we'll say twitter then the last one will be the youtube so here search for youtube let's choose the first one copy and then over here we'll give the anchor tag and inside the anchor tag we'll give the icon so right now if we save it then if we refresh over here here we can see four icon uh here you can see we have the icon and there is some space among them so for it what we will do we can do is that uh here uh we give space over here after the icon and anchor tag so we'll just remove them that will remove the space as well let's let us just do this and uh, okay if we just keep everything in online it will not give any space like this okay so if i now refresh the space should be gone here you can see the space is gone if we zoom in here you can see there is no space among them so right now after adding the social links or social icon let's go and uh, have the menu list over here and we'll also have a paragraph like copyright reserved by something so here after this tip we are going to mention the event tag unordered list and inside this unordered list we are going to have the list tag so we we'll say over here li and inside this li we'll have a anchor tag so uh, let's say we'll have home blog about us and contract so let me just copy this and i'll paste it three times on to and three so in the first one we are going to say over here home here we'll say blog here we'll say uh, about us 
and here we'll say contact okay so right now save it then refresh here and there you can see i actually zoomed in that's why it looks like this so there you can see uh, it like this so after this we'll add a paragraph so after this you will tag let's add a p tag and inside this p tag let's say uh, let's say copy right at the end of 2030 all right reserved by web technology okay so right now save then let's refresh okay our basic structure is ready now let's go and write some css for all of them so first of all we'll write the css for the social icons so let's go back to our code and here you can see we already mentioned a class called social for the icons so here uh we'll go inside the head tag and inside the head tag we're going to mention the style tag and inside the style we're going to write this class social so let me just copy it and we'll give a dot for class and we'll say social so first of all we'll have this social link uh, in the center so for it uh, we'll write over here text align it will be center so right now if we save it then if we now refresh as you can see it is in the center now let's go and add some padding at the top and at the bottom so here we are going to say padding top 20 px and padding bottom it will be 20 px save then let's refresh there you can see there is some gap at the top and at the bottom so right now let's go and make the icon a little bit bigger so for it we'll go back to our code and here you can see that we have anchor tag inside the anchor tag we have the icon so here and the anchor tag is inside the social class so here we're going to say dot social then anchor tag then to second bracket so first of all we are going to say over here font size it will be let's say 20 px say let's see how big it get okay it become a little big so we are going to say over here uh display it will be inline block then we'll also give a border over here we we'll say border will be on px solid let's say page so right now if we save it then if we refresh uh there is a border actually let me just zoom in then you will be able to see here you can see there is some border over here because we write this line on px solid page so right now let's go and increase the width so let's say over here width uh, let's say 25 px save then then refresh you can see that the width got a little bit bigger now let's go and add some padding so here we'll say padding uh, let's just say padding 10px save then refresh and there you can see okay let's keep it in the normal size so here you can see now let's make it uh, a little bit round so we'll say here border radius uh, it will be 8px save then refresh and there you can see it become a little round so right now let's go and do one thing that is if we take our cursor on the icon the color will change so for it uh, what we'll do is that let me just copy this and here i'm going to say social a clone hover we cannot give any space among a and hover okay then we are going to say background color it will be thing we'll use white anti white okay save it then if we now refresh here if i take my cursor over here here you can see the color changes okay so the icon part is done now let's go and do the this list part so let's go back to our code and here you can see that we have the ul tag and inside ul tag we have the uh, home block about us and contact and the ul tag is inside the class footer so here we are going to say over here dot footer then we'll say here ul then two second bracket and first of all uh, here you can see it has a list there is a dot before it so we'll say over here uh, inside this footer ul list style it will be none save then refresh there you can see the dot is gone so right now we we'll say over here text align it will be centered 
and we'll also say our here padding bottom 30 px save so our this one will be in the center and there will be some gap among this list and this text if i refresh here you can see it is in the center now we want to show them in a single line so let's do that part right now let's go back to our code and here you can see that the li tag is inside the ul tag so here we are going to mention uh dot footer ul then li then to second bracket and here we will say display it will be inline block so it will make everything in a single line now let's go and add some padding so here we are going to say padding uh, padding let's say 0 px and 15 px save refresh and it is done now let's go and remove this underline from here so for it all we have to do is that we need to mention this anchor tag and this anchor tag inside the li tag and uh, the li tag is inside the ul tag so here we are going to say dot footer ul li then the anchor tag then to second bracket here we'll say text decoration it will be none save then refresh and then you can see it is gone so right now let's go and make this in the center so for it that will be actually really simple so let's go down and we have the p tag here we'll say class let's just say our here copy hyphen right save it and we'll write a css class for this class copyright Control c let's get the top and inside the style we'll say copyright to second bracket and here we'll say text align it will be center and let's also say our here padding bottom it will be 30 px save then refresh okay so right now let's go and add a background color for them so for it what we have to do is that here you can see everything is inside the uh, section called uh, section class called footer so here we'll go at the top and inside the style we'll say dot footer we are mentioning uh, this class name okay so here inside the footer we'll give to second bracket and we are going to show our hair background color it will be black if we save it now and if we refresh here you can see it looks like this so right now let's go and change the color over here here you can see we cannot see the text so let's change their color let's go and change the color for the this paragraph okay so copyright so here we are going to say color it will be white or white smoke whatever save it then refresh and here we can see the color over here text over here let's also make their color white as well so for it here this home is inside the anchor tag so we'll go to the anchor tag over here put a real li anchor tag and here we'll say color it will be white smoke save then refresh okay it is white now let's also make it white so for making the icon white we also again need to go to the anchor tag over here and here we'll say color it will be white smoke that's fine there you can see you can choose different color if you want and let's also make the padding zero and margin zero for the body so here inside the style we'll say body uh, margin it will be zero and padding will be zero as well save then if we refresh those gap will be gone here you can see there is no gap right now so right now uh, here if we take our cursor on the home option or block about us or contact the color should change so for it what we'll do is that we'll just copy this here you can see uh, footer ul li anchor tag so here we'll just paste it and here we'll give this sign clone hover to second bracket and let's say here background color or let's say only color not background color let's say color will be sky blue save then refresh if i take my cursor over here here you can see the color changed and their color changes as well now let's have this footer in the bottom so but before that let's just uh reset our browser and we'll just directly go back to our code and here we'll directly go to the dot footer class let's say here margin top it will be 50 percent save then let's refresh 
okay it is in the bottom uh, but there is some gap over here so for it we'll see over here margin bottom will be 20 px not 20 px minus 20 px okay save it refresh okay so right now our footer is complete and let's check the responsiveness if we just right click over here then click inspect and if we make it smaller here you can see okay this is quite responsive as well so yeah this is how you can make a simple footer in html using css i try to make this as easy and as simple as possible i hope you like this video and i will actually really appreciate if you subscribe to this channel thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial